Hello everyone, this is Diamond Suri from Canwings Consultants Private Limited. Welcome to this YouTube session. So I'm going to begin the video with some very exciting and I would almost say a breaking news. There was a time when uh, people would think that probably getting an invitation for a 189 that is a skilled independent visa that is direct permanent residence to Australia without going through any kind of nomination is something like a far-fetched dream. So people were usually under the um, understanding that um, probably you need to score very high, something like 100 plus points. It's a very, very competitive process and only the best of best applications are actually selected for a 189 application. Uh, another thing that kind of surprised me was that the DHA had actually announced that they'll be conducting a quarterly round. Uh, for the invitations for 189 but uh, we were surprised that after their invitation round held on the 22nd of August this year they conducted another round yesterday that is the 5th of uh, September and they sent out a large number of invitations uh, largely to engineers uh, university lecturers uh, basically all kinds of engineering occupations. Uh, we too have been very lucky in getting five invitations in one day uh, for um, chemical engineers, civil engineers, university lecturers. So uh, the interesting thing is that the point score of the applicants who received the 189 invitation was not very high. In fact, uh, one civil engineer was sitting at points as low as 65 points and the university lectures have also got it around 75 points or so. Therefore, all of you who probably have their occupation listed in the MLTSSL but have been reluctant to apply for a 189 visa, please go ahead and submit an EUI for 189 because at this point of time, the uh, situation seems very, very favorable and it looks like that the DHA is in a good mood to give you invitations for the 189. Uh, after this, I'd like to also talk about NSWC. There's been a lot of activity as far as all the states is, are concerned. I'm just going to quickly touch upon uh, two or three states and give you the updates on those. So NSW has already started the invitation rounds. Earlier, they just um, announced the criteria, uh, but they're not started uh, accepting the application. So we received, uh, uh, started receiving the invitations from NSW and one of the interesting uh, invitation we received was for a nutritionist for a 190 offshore um, visa and only at 65 points. Here I'd like to also clarify that uh, even the 189 nominations that we've been receiving are offshore. So when I'm talking, I'm only talking in terms of within the context of offshore applicants. So getting a nomination from NSW for a 190 visa at 65 points is huge. Then I'll come down to Tasmania. Uh, Tasmania has also started uh, with the uh, invitation round. So Tasmania uh, is sending out invitations to applicants to apply for a nomination. And uh, the applicants who received uh, invitations to apply for nominations, once we lodge the application with the state of Tasmania, uh, we have got a decision within as less as just three days. That is, you get a nomination approved and an invitation to apply for a visa within three days. And of course, South Australia continues to issue invitations for nominations for both subclass 190 and subclass 491. Rather, uh, the number of uh, occupations uh, have increased. There's more diversification in the occupations that are being invited for subclass 190 and 491. Therefore, as I can see, uh, look at things right now is of course Victoria is sending out invitations or at least confirmations of eligibility at this point of time all the states are very very active and uh, sending out invitations and as well as approving the nominations well in time alongside the DHA is also very very proactive in inviting applicants at a very low score so the overall situation can be summarized as uh, very conducive for offshore migrants at this point of time probably this is um, in my entire history of 20 years of uh, providing skill migration advice to those who want to migrate to Australia 
I have not seen the nomination scenario as good as what we see as of today. Therefore, for any further questions, please get in touch with us on 7849878498 or write in to us on canvings at gmail.com. I'll also be happy to answer any queries for you on YouTube if you have any. Until next time, bye-bye and take care.